Hello, YouTube. My name is Widsey, and I am playing RimWorld with Northern Lion. Say hello. Wow. Shocker. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah. All right. Oh. Hi, Woodsy. How are you? I am doing good. Don't, all good. right. I, I promised him I'd make that joke once <laughs> through the whole series. That was it. Now we can't do it again. Good. <laughs> I told you I, I said one per episode. Yeah, one but I also don't want to, like, annoy you and scare you away, so I'm not going to nah, do that. No, I mean... <laughs> Look, I did content with Penta for like six months. I if that didn't scare me away from doing collaborations, I don't know what does. Ew. So, ew, who, who is Penta? I, I don't yeah, know. Who, who the hell is Penta? Okay, here's what we're doing, guys. Uh, <laughs> as many of you probably know or don't know, uh, Rimworld is a colony simulator. It means that you are an omniscient god above several small individuals who you have to help survive on a abandoned planet type thing um it's it's single player which i know you're probably like why is why is tyler slash widzy here uh this is going to be a a funky series we're gonna do competitive rim world <laughs> so to yes. speak yeah uh it, it's kind of going to work we're gonna do this episode together and we're both gonna be in separate colonies despite being at the same exact place uh just just his side and my side but not together you know you'll have to watch his videos to see his colony my videos to see my colony uh and then once we do one episode together we're gonna do like four episodes separate do our own thing uh work on our places and then come back every four episodes and uh kind of touch base see where each other's colonies are you guys are going to be in the comment sections we'll throw up polls and stuff uh, all over our channel for whose place is going best, whose place is uh, completely under destruction, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So to preface this, I have a grand total of 19 minutes gameplay in this game. He has a little bit more than me. So yeah, I have like 30 hours or something like that. Yeah. But I do want to say this is the kind of game where like, you are either good or you're bad. And to be good, you have to, like, that's like a thousand hour procedure. So you're bad until you hit thousand hours. So in my book, we're on the same page. Later. You're bad until you're good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, would, would you say, <laughs> would you say this has a little bit of roguelike difficulty? Because I was playing earlier and, like, I don't know, like, my colonies just oh. randomly caught on fire and stuff. So, <laughs> so that was cool. You know what? I think that's a good conversation for us to start with Let's, once we actually make our colonies. Why don't we hit that new colony button? Yeah, I have. So we're going to do Crash Landed. Uh, we get three people and all of this crap uh, that people see there. Mm-hmm. And that's good. Uh, what are we? What storyteller are we doing? Uh, story... Oh, I just... Oh, I didn't pick it. Well, let, do you, you got to do... Uh, Oh, God. I was doing Phoebe because she's, like, I guess, quote-unquote, beginner, but... Or ca oh, no, casual, no, you, sorry. You have to go Cassandra Classic. Cassandra Classic, okay. And what, you gotta uh, go Cassandra. What difficulty no. are we doing? I have been playing on Rough. If you say Extreme, the series no. is over. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing on Rough. Okay. I think that Rough is the best. Okay, not recommended until you've had some experience in this game. I, I'm i sure my four minutes is good enough. Let's do it. All It'll right. And okay. we're, we're definitely okay. doing permadeath mode, right? Uh, No. Keep yeah, permadeath no. off. God, no. keep, keep it off. That, that would be bad. Uh, We do need a seed. So, Widzy, I want you to come up with the most random word you can think of off the top of your head. Flagisalis. I'm gonna need a spelling <laughs> of that one. Oh, that, hey, that's a screenshot button. Uh, how about let's do flagellate? Fla I'm gonna also is it <laughs> F L A G E L L A T E? Dude, you are so good at this. Awesome. Capital F. I don't know if that matters. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll put a capital F. I yeah. have no idea if it matters either, but usually so with a capital... seed, everything matters. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, for sure. Capital F L A G E L L A T E. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let's do it. And then change nothing else. Generate. 
generate and then this this is gonna be impossible oh yeah let's pick the same dot on this planet yeah it's gonna be a struggle um <laughs> but we'll figure it out if we go by water that at least gives us some reference I right think. i'll be honest with you i don't never mind i know how to move the map okay i don't even have the map yet it's still generating this bad boy well you move it with wasd i just learned awesome that. okay uh find a location off the top of your head like right now looking at it that is green that is you don't want to be that is green. green i'm honestly like i'm honestly trying to look for something with year-round growing just to be easier but you know we don't have to do that okay you know what here do you see the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i can't believe this is actually what i'm about to say do you see the fart alon c uh it's like straight up center uh just it's a body of water in the middle it's right like the bottom of the desert straight up in the middle straight up in the middle uh this one <laughs> fartalon see i swear to god if you're making this shit up <laughs> i'm not making this up um, dude <laughs> but he's he's sitting there laughing on his channel like yeah i'm trying to make him look for fartalon see <laughs> um direct uh, in the desert you said yeah it's like the south of the desert there's a skull <laughs> by it as well there's a skull. I see New Guanaco Bay. New Guanaco Bay. Or New Guanaco, that... yeah, over on the right hand side near the bottom right corner. I don't I don't see right. the sea. I'll be legit with you. I see the giant right. ocean, but that's about it. Uh Okay, hold up. When when you zoom way out, what's the name of your ocean? Uh Alatinum's ocean. Okay, and you do you see the far par poise desert? Uh let me zoom in. Far far it's not far it's far porpoise, not not far porpoise. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is great already. Oh, okay, yeah, far por porpoise desert, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh go to the southern edge of the far porpoise desert. Hey, it's the Fartalon Sea. It's the Fartalon Sea. Okay. I thought okay. okay. All right, he I wasn't was messing kidding. with me. No, I was not kidding. Oh, I, uh, I didn't realize how small these cubes are on this uh Oh, yeah, map. they get small. They get tiny. Oh, my God. Uh, do you see, like, the bottom peninsula type thing sticking out of water? Uh, are you talking about... I the... suppose water is not a peninsula, but... <laughs> the thing... <laughs> are, you th are you talking about the thing just slightly to the left and south of the skull and crossbones there? Uh, yeah, like that little gray dot. Uh, the or, like, shady dot the uh, desert yeah. tile. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. Go to the tile, green tile to the right of it. Okay. Now go down one. One. Down one. One. Left one. Left. Left one. Left. Okay. I, it do, is it a temperate forest? It is a temperate forest, uh, mountainous terrain. And it looks like current movement time, 14 hours, 14 hours, one day, yep. blah, blah, blah. Okay. Slate, oh, wait, slate and limestone? Yes, sir. 42 meter elevation. Oh, my God. Oh, we have the same spot. I is this good? How, I don't know how we did that. Um, I don't know either. Is this good? Yes, you're asking me. Sure, it's good. It does not have growing period forever. Uh, Well, 40 to 60 days, seeing as I don't know what that means. That's cool. You that's want, true. You want to just do it? I, I think we just full send. <laughs> Wait, I think we go for it. <laughs> let's let's do it. Okay. Okay, so now here's... Oh my, what in the hell? This got like way more complicated since the last time I played this. Oh, by the um, way, there were some updates. Uh, <laughs> I don't... I, I think I just have to choose this one character. This character's name is Lolita, so I think I have oh, to choose her. Dude, I got fur cause. So, but here's what we're going to do. So for those that don't know, uh, you have three people that you pick uh, that you got to go in with and you can kind of randomize them. We're going to give ourselves like five minutes to randomize our people and get the like best people we can possibly get. And then we're going to start because I will spend the rest of the day fixing these people. Oh, yeah, uh, the same. So I, I just need to get in. And then I feel like we have to name all of them after unusual crew members. 
Okay. I think that's, that's only fair. Which for people so. who don't know, Unusual Crew is the unofficial official name <laughs> of the uh the group of YouTubers we are. Me, Alexa, hy- uh, hybrid hybrid uh, hybrid uh Fatson <laughs> uh I don't know what his name is, LaRue. Uh, um <laughs> hybrid i hate that okay your five minutes is starting in three two one i'm going to hit randomize a bunch until something cool happens pop idol pirate oh that's what i should take joshua marjo he's got a frail torso dude i hate that incapable of firefighting you're out of here buddy absolutely not uh you like i I will give you some uh this guy seems good i will give you some tips and tricks uh you 100% don't want anybody to be incapable of firefighting. Oh, no, absolutely not. Which like, also... that, is, that is a must. You can't. <laughs> like, you will just... That's how you learn to hate yourself, is if you have that. Which, uh... Oh, dude, this woman's amazing. <laughs> Mine is absolutely <laughs> not. Oh, this chick is fantastic. I think I I think I got a uh, a good blend of absolutely non helpful. So awesome! This is a rise star right here. Ooh, a con artist? No, incapable of violence? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh yeah, those are bad too. <laughs> Wait, I gotta check this one. Green thumb and volatile. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I, a teen? Oh, it's just a female. It's not. I got okay. an industrial orphan named Scooby. <laughs> industrial <laughs> orphan. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this boy. is like creating the characters is almost as fun as playing. Oh dude, and there is nothing better than starting a new Rimworld series because it's all happy. Like <laughs> everything is happy at the start and then it's just a slow descent into In- wanting to hate yourself into for madness the next- and hell. Yeah. Honestly, that's exactly right. Milo French, what a guy. Engie, okay. an engineer. Okay. Frank McDonald. Wow, that is the most uh, American name I think I've ever heard in my life. Uh, so is this one, Connor Blakajevich. <laughs> <laughs> what about Crandis Zaxon? That, okay, that is going to be my next D&D character name. <laughs> oh, dude, the most American name, Liberty Anders. Oh, my God. If only it was Liberty Freedom, this would be the most American person. Oh, dude, Waldo. I found Waldo. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I don't know. I think I have mine. Okay. I do I not. I still need my last person. I. Oh. This chick is a serial killer. Oh, she's literally a psychopath. Okay. Yeah. We don't. We don't need that. I would love. No, I don't want a psychopath. Night owl. I'm fine with. Can I get <laughs> someone that cooks? Jesus. Oh. Uh, wow. Wow. You guys really. This is. He is a star knight, and he's gay. Oh, a gay star knight? How how nice. Incapable of firefighting apps. This oh, and he can... 2018. That is okay. Well, what I'm saying is, <laughs> I think RimWorld is trying to make a social statement. Can I... I get someone who cooks, please? Lazy. Can... Is lazy acceptable? The bell, Dude, I got, I got no chefs, but this is a super social person who is good at medicine, this is this is a mod apply, I think. <laughs> Madi think so? does not Madi does not at all do anything with medicine, but <laughs> that's okay. <Still. laughs> this is a mod apply. Intellectual, yeah. He's artistic. He, did you know that mod apply is a fantastic singer? Really? Yeah, I never knew it until he told me. Okay, I got <laughs> mine. Uh I don't know if you're you're all good. Uh I am just going to change this medieval doctor to uh <laughs> Oh, I got a medieval doctor too. Is oh. it Danielle Buck? No, it's Sophia uh hybrid and <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Uh I think uh, I think this teacher could definitely be a uh it could definitely be a fatson. Oh, oh for sure, dude. And then and then the Lolita could definitely be I don't even know. Well, Lolita's you. Oh my God, that's right. I think you are. You've you've embraced Lolita as your uh, inner passion itself. I. Uh, that's right. So. I am. I am a beautiful woman. So let's let's get <laughs> let's get to it. 
So, sometimes, yeah, sometimes the beard just, like, blends in. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have a medieval doctor, a teacher, and a colony settler. I have an illuminator, which I'm going to be honest with you, not really sure what that means. But, All right. Oh, wait, here we go. Uh, among tunnel dwellers, those with vision as strong as Tyler's are revered as sages. He would lead the way, marking spots to dig with bioluminescent fungus and warning others of impending danger. In interesting how fancy oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what was it say yours again uh medieval doctor teacher and a colony settler those I'm, are all normal yeah i know like uh can i can i change no i okay i can't change an individual thing i just have to kind of randomize yeah nah i'm good then okay you're good jonas will be our teacher <laughs> uh all okay. right we can hit that start button yeah, hit the start button. Let's, Let's do, do it. This. Let's do this. Let's generate this map, and ugh, I have no idea. Half of this video has been us talking. Awesome. Oh, dude, every every video we do together is just going to end up being... We're, like, we will get nothing done in the colony. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Like, <laughs> we actually started in a pretty dope... Wait, hold on. Before I... Let me just uh, ask one thing, since I know nothing of RimWorld. Okay. Are there, like, cave-dwelling, like, alien demons or things like that? Mm, do you want the honest answer, or do you want me to play dumb? I will find out myself. Because let me just say that if you ever come across a place that has, like, some fortified walls, mm. and you are not, like, really, really good, then I would say you should not go near them. <laughs> <laughs> good to know okay yeah. yeah i would also and i know that you since you haven't played the game a lot right. uh i i will spend a little bit of time helping you like at I, times in in these first couple of videos oh my god dude it's been so long since i played this game like i but, said uh, i i have been playing today so i do know a little bit of what's going on yeah for sure like i know uh, i know how to start a colony i just don't know how to run one yeah <laughs> that's good uh my advice to you early on um you may especially with this map right here feel the urge to dig into the mountain i and was, kind of create a base in there i was thinking initially but i think instead what i'm gonna do is just kind of have a base on the mountain but not necessarily dig into it yet yeah uh, because a mountain base is fine. Uh, it's good. Right. In, in a lot of ways, it can be, it can be very good. Right. Uh, the issue with a mountain base arises when you accidentally don't put up enough structures inside of it. And then, you know, your guys are just walking around mining out the place. And then a giant rock falls on a guy's head into death. Like, like there's no, there, there there's are no, actual... There are, like, cavens and things like that. Yeah, like, there's no, oh, hey, he's downed, uh, time to go rescue him a la Fortnite. No, this right. is a rock hit his head, he is dead, kind of. Oh, wow. <laughs> kind of okay. situation. Like, it's bad. So you do not, you do not want to do, like, a cave base is fine, just be careful. Like, what no, else? I'm not, I'm not going to set that up initially. What I'm going to do is eventually I'll get around to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, Other than that, I mean, a, a main advice, uh, always, always, always set your priorities in your uh, in your assign tab at the bottom. Yes. Set your priorities to manual. Set my Just save yourself so much. Uh, Where is... Like, uh, brain power. It's... it's. Oh, wait, not assign. Uh, in work. work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Shows how good I am. Uh, oh, game. okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. See, yeah, I didn't. I because, didn't mess with that at all. Yeah, you you end up being able to fully grasp uh, what every individual is doing. Gotcha. And yeah. It's so, like if you want Tyler to be, well, or Jonas or whoever the hell you have. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, really. If you want them to be doing. Uh, x thing you can make that priority super high and then gotcha you know, kind of force them to do that thing gotcha gotcha okay yeah uh okay. which is helpful just just 
kind of speaking this through for myself really more than anything i just need to make sure that hybrid is cooking okay there we go <laughs> I was, oh wait are you assigning your properties i thought you were yeah. like already had food that you were cooking and i was like how in the hell i'm no. about to get absolutely toasted in this series i have okay so look i have a really bad <laughs> problem with these type of games where like i'll play for 45 minutes completely paused setting everything up and then oh, i'll let it go absolutely man absolutely and that's that's my big problem but uh 100 i'm with you on that i think i think we're good We'll do that. No, I completely agree. Also, for the... for people watching, uh, as I've said, I'm completely new, and he's probably not too far along on being new. So, if mm -hmm. there is any advice you guys have, just, just absolutely let us know. please, yes, please. That that's actually a really, really great point because uh, we will take all advice willingly yeah. and happily. <laughs> Yeah, because we're, we're we're really what Woodsy's trying to say in the nicest way possible is we suck. So I look, I'll I'll give it like a good two or three episodes before I just directly insult us. I will... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to the chase and just say we suck. Uh, and God help us, essentially, in this series. <laughs> so <laughs> may the rim world gods be uh, ever in our favor. Yeah, no, they're not going to be. I, I don't they, <laughs> they absolutely will not be. All so, right. uh, Woodsy, not to distract you, but how have you been? It's been, like, literally God. What, um, six months? Yeah, has something it? ridiculous like that. I remember, I think I jumped on, like, one of your guys' stream, like, four months ago, and that was about it, so... That sounds about right, to be fair. I I think. I can't honestly remember. But, uh, I'm, I've been doing pretty good, man. We finally moved out of, uh, East Bumfuck everywhere, so... <laughs> that's that's great we what a fantastic place it's it's absolute garbage or a great place i would highly it's, recommend it's absolute garbage <laughs> i would highly highly recommend moving to the middle of the center of the country for no goddamn reason for a year uh mm. it'll definitely give you perspective and love of things like electricity running water internet you know all the stuff that we're supposed to have by default yeah. I was going to say, I know that you, you for a long time had, like, not even garbage internet, but, like, borderline non-existent. So, the way that my internet worked was I hooked up my phone to a USB cord, and I tethered the connection, and that was about it. Mm. Yeah, so, <laughs> it it's it's different. Yeah, so you're getting, like, what, you're getting, uh... I made sure I got the best possible shit we can now. Be yeah, so you're getting like what, a hundred up, hundred down? I'm getting five hundred up, uh, two hundred <laughs> oh down. Oh my god, Jesus <laughs> Lord! That's I I was incredible. like, look, I'm never. <laughs> I have no excuse for missing uploads now. It's just you know, I have to apologize for being as a person as I am. But you know, in That's terms crazy, in terms of internet speed, no, I wanted to make sure I got as close to South Korea as I could. <laughs> <laughs> wow because yeah i know so my my uh apartment mm. in new york i get a hundred up hundred down okay and that's like i get amped over that because i currently right now where i'm at i get uh like on a good day 10 down and on a good day like two up Oh, dang. Yeah. Gotcha. So it's like I upload a YouTube video, you know, standard Isaac video. That's a three hour upload. That's how I used to be. Yep. Yeah. And now I'm, I'm sure you can relate. <laughs> now I upload a three hour stream in like 30 minutes and I'm like, dude, yeah. this is this is like, all right, that's I, that's the life I right can there. afford. I can I can like being an adult now. <laughs> yeah. No, but man, no, I, I I completely understand how you are, man. It's. It's tough, but you just gotta kind of hang in there. For sure, I I, I do. I, I tend to, and I know that we haven't. Uh, I know we haven't done content in a while. But even when we did do content together, we both are. We enjoy not. We enjoy. How do I word this? He's trying to say something nice. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. It, it's more. I'm trying to figure out who is my best grower 
while trying to spit out words. I'm I'm <laughs> sitting at the same thing right now. Like, what the hell is a sarcophagus? All right. Yeah. Uh, essentially, what I'm trying to say words of at the current moment and cannot get out is that me and you, when we make content, we tend to be more focused towards a, like, conversation-based form of commentary while playing games not a game based you know it's not like you know if we're gonna play PUBG, we're not sitting there going okay here i am i am laying down and after i'm done laying down i'm going to prop this gun up no we're gonna be talking about you know hey is a hot dog a sandwich and we're gonna be on that conversation for like a half hour and if we die we die and we move on with their life exactly kind of. exactly um and I feel like all of our viewers at this point understand that. Well, because that's that's kind of like the same thing that I've always wanted to do on YouTube, which, you know, me, you, uh, pretty much like every everyone that we're kind of associated with has always been the same way, is mm -hmm. it's less of like, okay, so I'm doing this in the video, and then I'm doing that. Like, we're not doing walkthroughs or tutorials. We're just kind of playing a game and kind of like sh just shooting the shit with people, essentially. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Also, uh, why is it my people aren't building? Like, I have them assigned, I have them tasked out, but they're just kind of wandering. Um, and I'm trying to make them, like, build their beds so I can stop getting the notification they need beds. You can always click on a person and then right-click on a task, and they will go do that. Um, do you not have them assigned to do that in your work? Because that could be another reason. No, I have them all to construct... I have them, yeah, I have them all to construct. I got one to cook, one to hunt. Do you have resources? Do you have wood on the left? Uh, oh, I thought they'd just cut the trees and then kind of do it themselves. You have to actually no, order them to cut everything. you have to tell them to cut things. You also have to, like, on anything that's on the floor, you want to make sure uh, that that is marked as pick it up which just means get that get rid of a little x on it right uh th those are all fairly important <laughs> things to do <laughs> all right throw it out there uh gosh gotcha. yeah no yeah for sure oh okay that why is that turned off by default yeah i mean that's a fair point hey right look there. they're um, building okay yeah it's, it's wild isn't it why, why would you choose that by default? Hey, let's make it so that we can't actually grab the things. <laughs> let's just infuriate the people doing a first-time playthrough of this game. No, this, I will say, RimWorld is one of those games where it it's brutal the first few times you play it. Like, it takes a while for you to be like, yeah, I understand everything that's going on. Like, even me right now, I'm sitting here like, I, I remember what i'm supposed to be doing right but i know that this is still probably not what i'm supposed to be doing in certain areas gotcha like, okay yeah because i was sitting that, here like dude c come on like what the hell are we doing yeah like hey, get the show on the road come on we gotta build like yeah, no, i feel okay well that, that's fine then uh i don't really know what it is i'm supposed to plant so i'm just gonna plant things corn potatoes cotton strawberries all very good if you uh, strawberries you need someone who's good at growing but right yeah also oh i definitely just totally ignored these visitors that came by oh dude <laughs> Madi thinks that i should give the faction a name this is going to be kicking widzy's <laughs> ass at rim rim world and then the local community is going to be called uh Tyler rocks. <laughs> that nice. name isn't valid. Oh no. Oh, um, oh no, that's too bad. The world is uh, not valid. Wait, that do name I? Is not valid. Oh, oh I have... not valid. Dude, I have someone who has ten at growing. They can fucking grow there that. We go. That hash pipe shit if they want. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You can also grow hops and then make some uh, make some beer for your guys. And... I saw that, and as soon as yeah. I get a research table, I am definitely getting that shit on. Dude, they literally so like. They will, once you make beer, if you're not careful, they will just, like, if they're sad, they're, they're chugging beer and getting trashed. They like, just get sloshed every day? At, 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 like, literally every day. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> like, you can buy you can buy drugs as well, and they will just I smoke saw all day long and 
be high every second of the day. Like, I mean, th- these people know how to live life is all I'll say. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, that's that's actually kind of hilarious. <laughs> like, There's a lot of little things in the game that uh, you you don't realize until you actually play it. Right. Like, I, uh, I also saw some, um, I was watching some Steam reviews on all the just crazy wonky stuff that can happen. So, uh-huh. I am super Absolutely. down. Absolutely. Yep. Dude, I have a goat named. Oh, that's that's a Labrador. Never mind, man. That's. Oh it. wait, yeah, wait. Well, who's my? Oh, it's. It, do you have a? Is it a Labrador named Gilligan? Dude, it's almost like <laughs> this is seeded. It's almost like it's seeded. I feel like I need to change the name of this guy though. Ah, uh, go for it. You uh, you go for it. I will keep it. Uh, and yeah, then, I I don't know how to. I'm assuming for the first however many days, like we kind of just have stuff like we have food and things right or am i yeah, wrong yeah you start you start with a little bit of food okay uh, and then and then that's when we want to start growing yeah and then you really you want to you want to get growing asap okay i am going to make it where's my fatson i never expected you to have so much growing okay uh that's that's who we'll do okay I don't know. I'm just trying to balance like who the hell these people are and what it is that I'm doing. So, oh Ryan, you're shooting at a rat and you need to kill the damn rat. Oh my god, he literally is the worst human being. Have you had a mad animal yet? Yes, uh, there was yeah. a rabid squirrel that ate two of my villagers last time I played. <laughs> Which I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Oh lord, hybrid. Why are you sleeping in stone? What What are you doing? <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> We spawned near water. Uh, yeah, there's water on... Wait, there's water on the north side. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's almost like we chose that area next to the... That's exactly what we chose. <laughs> Dude, you know, look, I am already, <laughs> like... I am already frustrated with this. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's going to stay like that. Uh, Probably. Watch yeah. the entire series. I am I am fine with that. I was... When I saw the zones, I initially thought, have you ever played City Skylines? I have not. It's like the one colony simulator that I have not, not even ever even had an interest um, to play. I'm just saying it's a city simulator, not a colony what? simulator. I'm it's just all the same. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, so what it is you can do is uh, in that game you set up zones and it say like it's an industrial zone or a res- residential. Essentially, it just builds the things needed in that section. Like industrial, it makes industry things to power your city etc etc like the first thing i saw when zones i was like oh so we can assign it this and that and this and that but no that is apparently not the case you have a growing zone a stockpiling zone and roof and that's about it (laughs) uh yeah that's fine yeah and Um, the roofs as long as you enclose a building the roofs get auto made okay so you don't need to worry about that and if you put a if you manually put a roof on but it's not like stabilized by walls then it will collapse oh really so, okay yes so be careful with that that's no good but we'll no that would be not very good <laughs> another uh important thing the bottom right do you see like the man with an x on him yes so the environment display this will tell you whether or not your home is just absolutely horrible or not right and the people that genuinely affects them. I was I was seeing something about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you want to check the beauty of areas. You also want to, in your work, putting cleaning as a high priority is usually pretty good. Okay. Because uh, that just helps keep the place nice, and they're happy if you do that. Yeah. And then I did one see... other little thing. Yeah. Go, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I, I was gonna say I did see something about that because in my last play. Uh, they were freaking out because they saw like bodies and things. Did you just get Trado? Uh, pardon me, Trado <laughs> the shaman. Uh, did you just get an escape pod with a person? No, I found a traitor. Oh. Uh, what am I even? I just trading? found a living human being. Really? So, yeah. So I suppose welcome to the party, Acacia, who is definitely going to be renamed to. Yeah, I don't know who. So, oh, I she she has to be a prisoner. Okay. 
No, actually, uh, I saw no pop-ups on that, so whatever. You may get it soon. Eh, I'm not super worried about it. I really would like to set a power source. My problem is <coughs> I have no area to set the power source. I don't want to stick it out in the open because I feel people can go and attack it. It's good that you have uh, power already. Uh, if by power I mean you mean torches, then yes, because okay, well, I don't have the I don't actually have the uh, production or the solar generator up yet. Okay, yeah, I've got one up, uh, but I'm not using it to do anything at the current moment. So oh, hybrid thinks you should give your faction a name. Oh, let's go. A hybrid initially suggested a burrow at the cliff. Very, very inventive hybrid. I'm proud of you. <laughs> um, uh, this is totally hybrid. not going to be a series where we just take pot shots at hybrid. I swear. Uh, Penta, I swear. <laughs> pot shots at hybrid. Penta, if you're watching this, you're a person. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What, what should it be? Uh, let's you're name it Tyler's Going Down. I love it. And uh, since it looks like you've been here for a while, also thinks we should give the, this community a name. He suggested Nima Colin. Uh, <laughs> what should this local colony be instead? Honestly, Nima Colin sounds fine to me. Uh, I named it as Please God Save Us. <laughs> <laughs> I still, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what the difference between the two are. I don't know. Like, I have no idea. Like, randomly, they just show up as two different things a lot of the time. I have no idea which is which. Uh, Akash is actually going to die if I don't make this uh, thing soon. You should probably make that thing soon. <laughs> yeah, I should make the thing for sure. Uh, okay, let Tyler. me throw a battery down here. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. And then you need to go do the. Uh, she died. Like, straight up? Yeah, she's dead. There's dead body out there. <laughs> wow. It's a big rip. Big rip to uh, Acacia, who was going to be Penta. Sorry, Hybrid. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot his name for a second. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh. Okay, so we do have three colonists idle. How the fuck do you make a battery? What do I need? Uh, it is, it's, I mean, it's in your power. It, oh, I need steel. I should steel probably, components. I should probably like mine some steel then in order to do that. Yeah. Are these in the shade? What have I done? What? No, wait, no, we're good. How, have I, have wait, I, are we good? Have I? Huh? I don't even know. Uh, oh. okay. So there is steel 700 m miles away. So let's, uh, let's mine that. Oh, wait, I'm done. Go for gold, guys. Uh, touching back on your uh, your experiences in the American Midwest. <laughs> sure. What's up? <laughs> what would you say is oh, like... Fuck. Mad animal. Oh, I got a raid. I got a... What would you say? Is it a squirrel, dude? Or a rat? Is it a rat? No, it's a hare. And I don't even Ooh. see where it is. If you click on it, it'll. you can do a jump to location and see exactly where it is. I may have accidentally cleared that out. Excellent. Well, you're going to find that mad animal soon because he's going to come try and kill you. So. Oh, I see it. Okay. Um, But what would you say is like the one thing that you have learned? Either whether it's like just a life thing or if it's like here's something that's just real weird about the Midwest. Um something that would be pretty weird about it like okay so when you think midwest i'm sure there are certain stereotypes that may come to mind like we lived really we lived literally on the border of texas so okay we had some very interesting experiences um i can't think of super ones because i worked at a walmart in the midwest so i mean like that alone should have some pretty interesting ones. Yeah. Surprisingly, it was tame. It was just a normal... There was nothing crazy. You know, you didn't hear about, uh, you know, crazy meth head steals a goat today and rides it off into the <laughs> sunset or anything like that. We did have... It, apparently, it was a thing that was pretty common because I worked with a dude who uh, was a prison guard for something like 15 years, so that was fun. Um, he said that the jails around there the inmates would just kind of walk out whenever 
Like that's crazy. Like apparently the scheduling is so bad out there. They had inmates like maybe once a month or once every other month that would just disappear. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's that's pretty interesting. We had a fun one because um, I I commuted about 50 minutes one way every day to work. Sounds ca- sounds horrible. kind of familiar, right? Yeah, uh, it sounds very familiar. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Yeah, to work at Walmart. A chunk of spacecraft has fallen and landed nearby. Do I care? Uh, there can be stuff in it. Should oh I... wait, that that uh components. That's for components. Should I like actually make an attempt to grab it? <laughs> nah, you can wait for now. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Okay, so uh, we drove by. I, I was essentially driving on this long stretch of nothing but farmland for like fifty minutes every day. The sign there was a sign that popped up like early on when we first got there, and I was like, okay, so what's going on here? There was a sign that said, "Careful, hitchhikers may be escaped inmates." <laughs> And the first time I saw this sign was at 11.30 p.m. And I'm just sitting here like, great, it's going to be the story of Southern oh, no. Southern City Boy ru- appears <laughs> in the local, in the Midwest and gets stabbed by some fucking hobo slasher named Timbo or something. Yeah, oh, it, was, it was a very interesting time. Um, other than that, though, the occasional... Oh, okay, so here's another thing that's very odd about there. Uh, there's no such thing as fire ordinance in the counties I was living in. So that's good. What that means is sometimes instead of taking pe- stuff to the dump, people would literally just light their yard on fire. Oh my god! Like hundred percent. Like there was just people. They burn tires. They'd burn old cars. They'd burn oh their trash. Oh my god, dude! That's yeah. not okay. <laughs> yeah. You want you want to talk about some crazy shit? I thought the world was ending one night when I got off of work because I when I uh, there was a a bridge that you drove over and then you drive for a little bit and then there's a whole shit ton of hills which you know is also weird to me because Florida is completely flat and I've been here most of my life. Yeah. So driving on these hills, I turned the corner and I saw this light and I was like, okay, so I don't know, maybe some fucking hillbillies having a meth pa- party or something. I don't know, <laughs> but. The entire hillside was on fire at 11.30 at night one day. Jesus. I drove by there, and I was like, okay, so this is the apocalypse. I'm dealing with the apocalypse <laughs> in Oklahoma. Great. Oh, just, yeah, of all places. That's <laughs> what I wanted to deal with, right? So, um, oh, I should probably actually get some food going, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, so apparently people just like lighting things on fire for no reason. I mean, okay, so... And we are going to have to uh, end the episode shortly, but oh, yeah, I do have one long. story. First of all, like, in Ohio, where I'm from, is not necessarily, like, Midwest, but it's damn close. Right. Like, it's close enough that you still get a lot of, you know, people aren't lighting trash on fire in our yards. Right. But you still have just weird people that are doing, like, hick stuff at right. times. But the one that I'm sure you'll appreciate, just since you worked in retail, mm. uh, there's a Target that's close to my house. Okay. And it, we had a little while back, on every Sunday, this guy would come into Target, mm. and he would steal a TV. Uh, poor kid. And I mean, like, every Sunday, you know, 12 o'clock noon... Here comes Jeremy walking in to steal the TV. What? And the problem was, so Target has a rule, and it's apparently like a rule in all of re- or something stupid like this. Right. There's a rule where you can't approach somebody who you think is going to shoplift. No. Because, Actually. yeah, because you can't like assume, you know, based on a racial or something stereotype. That somebody is going to be stealing. Right. So you have to just not. Well, this guy figured that out and he would literally like go in, they'd watch him take the TV, and then he would walk out and then they'd call the cops, but the guy would be gone by the time the cops would come. Wow. And they couldn't, like, there was no law that allowed them to just like place cops outside the door 
and wait for the guy to come out. Like, so this guy stole like seven TVs or something like that before they finally caught him. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, I'm trying to figure out how do you let that go for that long? I, I just I, don't get it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Damn. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, that's actually a very common thing because if you un- inadvertently touch someone who wasn't stealing, you know, you get a lawsuit and all that. Oh shit. yeah, everyone was like, "Oh, why are you assuming I'm stealing stuff just because it's in my bag and I didn't pay for it?" Yep. Yeah. All right, but uh, anyways, I think this has been going on for quite a while. Yeah, this is like a forty-five minute video, but that's okay. It's a good way to start the series. Yeah, it's the first episode. It's always good. Yeah. But that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in and watching the first episode. Uh, these will be going, you know, this one was together. The next four on both of our channels mm-hmm. uh, are going to be separate. You know, us just talking about, you know, you literally got like nothing about our colonies during this. Uh, so it'll be good to kind of actually see what's going on and stuff like that. Uh, go watch both perspectives to mm-hmm. understand fully what's going on. We'll be posting polls frequently. Uh, you you have the community tab, correct? Uh, I do, actually. Have you ever used it? Yeah, I use it. Uh, I used to use it for a different series and whatnot. Awesome. We'll post uh, polls on the community tab for each video for whose colony is going better. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we'll kind of see where people are at throughout there. I think it'll be very fun. I think it's going to be a blast, and this is going to be uh, quite enjoyable. This is going to be very <laughs> interesting, to say the least. Uh, yeah, to say the least. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Wizzy, I'll see you in four episodes, buddy. You better have the world's greatest colony. Be- seeing as I just started getting raided, absolutely not. So, <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Bye. Bye.